Hey guys, it's Chris, and this is a design from Todd, open source, 2021 uh, Amiga A1050 RAM adapter, chip RAM, right in the front slot. This has been reworked to have two uh, 65, 535 word byte TILs to allow faster than 150 nanosecond RAM. All eight slots are now socketed. How is this useful? If you have an Amiga 1000 and you need a chip RAM adapter and you have possibly some good or 64X4 DRAM chips left and you don't feel like buying an entire new adapter, which are getting harder, and if the RAM's gone in them, then what? Desoldering, now you can simply pop out some old chips and put in some new. So after all your project work is complete, how do you go about getting yourself a PC board completed, made, created, put together? Well, I use PCBWay at PCBWay.com. They're having some big sales going on. There's always some competitions and the help is very friendly. You can chat with someone 24 hours a day. They are in Shenzhen, China, but they have staff that are on site 24 hours a day. So let's get to the point. How do you make yourself a PCB file? Well, you saw I already went through KiCad here, and we have the design laid out. The whole project was done. All the lines are correct, double-checked. We made our Gerbers already, right? So what I'm going to do is close 99 million things down. For PCBWay, it's very simple. Go to PCBWay.com, click Standard PCB, and then Quick Order. Upload your Gerber file right here and add Gerber file. It uploads it for you. Detects the layout automatically. Here's the design. Everything you want to go. And if you're interested in it, it's 24 hours. Five of them is going to cost you 25 bucks. All the hard work's done. Save it to cart. Not bad. So if you go to shared projects, type Amiga 1000. This one's currently under review but you can click it. Here it is. It's all there. Chris Edwards Amiga A1050-256K chip RAM expansion with sockets. This is the Amiga A1050-256K RAM expansion with socket. Requires 64KX4 150 nanosecond 18 pin RAM. And if I wanted it, I just hit add to cart. There we go. And Oops, now I have 10 of them for 44 bucks. Oh, $44 total. 20 bucks to ship them for 24 hour service. That's pretty quick. How fast? This fast. This is PCB way order. And if you open this up, here's your finished product. How is the quality? Well, check this out. Is this bright enough? I don't know. This is the whole adapter. Right here, the 1050 knockoff, that's the back, that's the back side, right? Here's the front side. She just pops right on there. And you socket all of your RAM, remembering which way the pins are. So they're all marked down, so the tops, let's pretend this is the top. North is all your RAM. The sockets have the little notch, so you can put your RAM in. Is this a sponsored video? Sort of, not really. I used PCB way to create uh, the assembly quote. I even had them do assembly, which is an option you can click when you're ready for assembly. Now if you wanted assembly service, just check the box. It does cost more. Turn key, list of supplies, how many do you want? I want one. Don't worry about anything else, just say calculate. One piece is $30 to be assembled. My total order is $54.48 with five boards and one of them pre-assembled. Of course, the more you have assembled, they're hand assembled. The price will go up. But for 24 hours, that is not bad. So you can get up to 10 boards for five US dollars if you're a new customer. Pretty cool. So be sure to check out PCBWay at PCBWay.com. Now, let's get to the build. We're going to see how these stack up against design, manufacture, assembly, and now the project. So, 
Last we left off, I got these from PCB Way. So what we're going to do now, after a month and a half, I finally got ten, uh, three orders of ten chips. That's thirty. I need more than that to finish what I want, but I only need eight. Here's the original A1050. Here's the repo. You're going to notice there's one one chip on here. This one has two. This will slide right on here like this. Exactly the same. You'll impale your fingers on the solder sticks. We're going to take all of these. These are 18 pin 64KX4 chips and they're all bent up. Okay, so I'm back. I got the old pin straightener. Um, you're like, oh, it ain't going to fit. Flip her over. She's got the tiny ones. You can do like one or two of these at a time. Give them a little squish. And it puts the pins close. And then you can grab them and bend them yourself. Okay. So here's a populated uh, A1050. Knock off. Here is the original A1050. Ooh, very nice. Now, what's left to do? What's left to do is to insert this here like so. Stab yourself. One, two. Now, it should just work. It's not working. We're rebooting over and over. The RAM is bad. Or, these are the wrong chips. Let me put the helmet of Goober on and see what they sent me. I got bad RAM. I can feel it right now. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. So I just swapped out eight more RAM chips because these don't work. Yep, these are just bacon. These aren't working. Back to the drawing board. This board is working, but I need to get good sourced RAM. It took over a month to get these from China. So I'm going to have to try like Mauser or one of the other places here in Marco, where Jesus lives, and get the proper chips. But it's good to know that the board design at least is functional. Hello from a couple weeks after that endeavor. So I actually sourced some good chips. Um, I had enough to get two and a half boards populated. They're right here. I'm going to show you live. I got these chips in America, dog hair, from Specialty Parts Inc. This guy, Specialty Parts Inc. Is that focusing? On eBay, I paid $19, 24 cents, for two sets of 10. These are NEC. 64 or UDP 41464C 12, 120 nanosecond uh, NEC page RAM 64KX4, 120 nanoseconds MOS. That's it. So, as I highlighted in the video, you don't need to remove your cover. So, inside of my Amiga 1000 is my original 1050. I'm just squeezing here and here to save the tabs. That's why I took the lid off. I was worried about the tabs. Normally you'll have two screws here. If you don't have this module in there, don't worry about it. So this is the populated NEC board. We're going to put this in. Just simply push this here. You can push here and impale your fingers. We're going to turn the Amiga 1000 on. Like these Boing Ball logos. They're pretty cool. Now before, with a bad fake RAM, this light was flashing um, red and the chips got extremely hot 170 degrees Fahrenheit because they were fake but watch what happens now with 120 nanosecond RAM we're going to boot Amiga whoops let me get test kit on floppy this will go bright now we're waiting for the Pi storm to boot because it takes a few moments there it goes here's our floppy Amiga test kit will load this looks weird because my monitor decides the little switch in the back is going to be a pain in the babushka there it is. Alright, so we're going to go to memory. Now I have 256 megs of fast, so don't let that throw you off. That's the Pi Storm. So we're going to test the chip memory region. 0.5 meg. And as you can see here, 
Can you see that? Now, I have this on angle because this is a CRT and you're going to connect the hertz. I have it set for 60, but you'll still see this little line go boop every once in a while. It's not there to the naked eye. Test the memory range. This will test super fast, A, because it's one half megabyte, and it's 120 nanosecond RAM versus 150 normal. You should be able to take this, it's already done, you should be able to take this down uh, even faster. The 265-535 word byte chips that are on there will handle up to 80 nanosecond, I believe, but I don't know if the bus speed can do it that fast. So as you can see, the A1050 knockoff replacement. I know I'm supposed to shut the pie storm down and all that stuff. Works fine. Pulling this out, cool to the touch. There is not an ounce of heat on here at all. This actually runs faster than my original Commodore A1050 because it has uh, two 65535 word byte comparator chips, I believe they're called. Comparators. They are on the Build of Material sheet on PCBWay.com Shared Projects. So that is the A1050 RAM expansion for your Commodore Amiga 1000. If you don't have one, you can pick one up fully assembled on PCBWay.com Shared Projects. Source yourself some good RAM. Try not to get it from China, or if you do, get it from a reputable resource. When you're all done, you just simply pop your cover back on, make sure your line is in the down position, and... Good to go. We can play things like Dread. Now that I have 512k of chip RAM, the A1010 inside of here is loading Dread. There you go. Turn my brightness up a little bit. Where's brightness? Right? Okay, good enough. New game. Normal. Working fine. My mouse is it? Not a fault of the mouse. I had to clean its balls. So as you can see, Dread works fine. Props to the people who are making Dread. There we go. Amiga 1000. Playing games now. We got 512k a chip. So that is the Amiga A1050 RAM expansion recreation. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps you and I hope you learned something.